Okay, listen. God, wait, welcome to the channel. My name is Kim. You're not tuned in to Sweet Kiss Creations. Okay, listen. You need to know that the Father is going to overflow you and bless you so that his name can be glorified. Praise God. And so by them seeing the blessing, see, God gave me this word like some months ago, right? I hope you've been tuned in. But basically, he's going to bless you because of your obedience to the point where people, the prodigals, are going to come home. My God, today, they're going to be like, how did you do that? How is this happening? Like, who, tell me how I can do it, right? And you're going to lead them back to God. My God, today, right? My God, so God gave me um, Hosea um, 2, and it says, you know, actually, I'm going to go to the seventh verse. My God said that glory be to God. She, she shall pursue her lovers, but not overtake them. And she, 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 shall, she shall seek them, but shall not find them. Then she shall say, I will go and return to my first husband, for it was better for me then than now. Now, um, make note of this. I know, you know, my Bible readers know, but, you know, God often calls Israel his bride, right? And so that means he's the husband, right? So basically he's saying like they, you know, some of the prodigals have gone off and they went into other stuff like new age or just serving themselves, which is basically satanic, right? But God is saying he's going to bless you because of your obedience to the point where, you know, it's going to be blockages for those that's just serving themselves, self-serving and, you know, seeking other means and other ways, other practices. He going to bless you, his child, because of your obedience and because you have been diligent to the overflow. And they're going to be like, man, I can't believe this. Yeah, because the people that once mocked you, they're going to be right there knocking your door down talking about some. Can you please give me some advice? You're going to you're gonna have to advise some of these people, right? My God, to that glory be to God. And by means, and you know, it's just to be expected. That's what happens when I have literally seen God work in my life and people mock me, right? And try to make me lose faith in what God showed me. And then when he blesses me, they're like, how did you do that? Right? How did you do that? Oh, yeah, because you underestimated me. But you don't realize that I'm not depending on me. I'm depending on my God. Rabbi Shatalabosi. Even when you didn't believe, I kept the faith. My God today. So that's going to be your testimony. Listen, when they come back to you, don't be mean. Just be like, listen, let me tell you about Jesus. God gave me this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God gave me that, that business. God gave me that degree. God, God did this. Because he needs you to be in position to glorify his name. Right? All right. So, overflow. My God today. I love you with the love of Christ. We will talk soon. Bye.